On this edition of our free software series, we'll be digging deeper to show you 10 lesser known free programs that just might be useful for you. Some of them were recommended by viewers in the comments in prior videos. All are available for Windows, but some available for Mac OS and Linux as well. Let's get started we'll start with the basic program first. Sumatra PDF is a free and open source document viewer that supports many document formats including PDF, EPUB, CHFM, and many others. It's lightweight and extremely fast, making it a great alternative to Adobe Reader. The design is minimalistic but no clutter. One of the first things I do when buying a new appliance or vehicle is download the owner's manual. The files open quickly and for PDFs with bookmarks makes it a breeze jumping to each category with ease. Sumatra PDF is only available for Windows with portable versions making it usable from an external USB drive with no installation required. In prior videos, many of you have asked how we were able to mirror an Android phone on our PC. We use a program called Screen Copy, which is abbreviated to SCRCPY. It's available on GitHub. To download it on their main page over here on the right, go to the latest release, scroll down and under Assets. For Windows just simply download the zip file comparable to your computer, either the 32 or 64-bit for Linux and MacOS. If you're technically savvy, you'll have to compile the source code. On Windows, you will need to extract that zip folder you just downloaded. Using a single USB cord, plug it into both your phone and your PC. After plugging your phone into your computer on your phone, you'll get a pop-up asking if you want to allow USB debugging. Tap on Allow on your computer go into your folder for screen copy and double-click the executable because it does not install on your computer. Your phone will now appear on your screen. You can use your mouse to left-click and drag the sides and corners to resize it and move it around. You can also use your mouse left-clicking and dragging to the various screens. And you can also open apps on your phone. The only downside is that there is no sound but otherwise it works great. If you want to convert any of your files, you have many choices. The easiest I've used the simply named File Converter. It's free and open source and at this time is only available for Windows. With just two or three clicks, it'll let you convert your audio video images and documents into various file formats. File Converter is a shell extension, which means it's integrated into Windows using the context menu in File Explorer. Here's an example. Let's suppose you had JPEG images you wanted to convert to the WebP format. Select one or more of the images. Right-click and look for a file converter on Windows 11 who have to click on Show More Options to see it. They should have named Windows 11 for Windows Extra Click Edition. Hover your cursor over File Converter and select to WebP, and that's all there is to it. This will be a quick one. At various times over the years we've recommended the free BitTorrent client Qubit Torrent. I recommend you try it out. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you give it a thumbs up. What lesser known free software do you use? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit the bell to not miss out our latest free software videos and other tech related stuff here on Nafi Tech.